What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chimaya's World and I've been getting a lot of questions about how you can play Madden 23 you know early because a lot of people over the last what, what I, I can't even remember how far back we go uh, we've always been able to either get it through EA Access or EA Play all right now with this with, with the way that they've set it up now there is no EA Access there is no EA Play all right remember EA Access and EA Play are the same thing they just change it to EA Play so pretty much what happens is you can pre-order the all Madden edition and play the game three days early. There is no longer a 10 day trial. All right, so I'm gonna break it down for you really quickly and then I'm gonna go over some things that you need to do before Madden 23 drops. All right, so I'm showing you this from a PlayStation 5 console. If you are on Xbox, you're gonna follow the same thing. It's pretty much you're going into the game store, whatever, the Microsoft, the Microsoft store. Right now we're going into the PSN store and I'm gonna show you what's pretty much going on with it, all right? So look, when you go into the store and you search, right? You're gonna search EA Play. Okay, when you search EA Play, it's gonna tell you what they pretty much have uh, available for you, right? So as you go through it, I was an EA Play customer over the last couple of, well, long, long time. Going way back to when Calvin Johnson was on the cover, if you guys can remember that. Uh, bonus points to those guys that can remember what Madden that was with Calvin Johnson on the cover. But when you go down, it tells you the EA Play early access trials. And unfortunately, these are the only ones that are there. Now, if this was available, if uh, Madden 23 was available through EA Play early access trials, it would be here. So it's eliminated. It's no longer a part of what they're doing. But also, there is no 10-hour limit. So when you get the game early on August 16th, instead of waiting for the 19th, what's going to happen is there is no limit. You can play unlimited. It doesn't matter, bro. Grind through it. Do everything. Your franchise. Start your online franchise. Start your mutt team. Get in the regs. Everything saves. Even though it would save with the early access trial as well. But there's no uh, trying to log back in and do separate accounts and all that crap we used to do. Uh, so that's one of the things that I just wanted to make sure you guys know. You cannot get it through EA Play Trials. Now, the next thing that's going to happen is this, right? When you search the All Madden Edition, what's going to happen if you already have it pre-ordered, it should pop up, right? It should be in your library. So you see like how it says it's in my library? It's going to give you a time frame of when you can start to do whatever, you know, download it and stuff like that. But this is what it is, right? When you already have it pre-ordered, um, for those of you guys that pre-ordered it before July 22nd or at July 22nd, you're going to get that bonus player like the Micah Parsons, the Barry Sanders, Cam Chancellor, all that stuff. If you recently did it, you no longer get that player. So if you did it in August after they gave you like the last second thing, you're not going to get, uh, you know, the bonus 87 and stuff like that, but you will get the game earlier. Like you can see it's seven days. I'm making this video on August 8th. So we're going to get the game by, you know, the midnight, whatever it is, mid midnight, August 16th, all right? And then the actual game drops the 19th, so you're gonna get it three days early, and that's the only thing that they're doing. Now, you can also get it a di an additional day early if you're willing to change the region of your console. Now, I am against that because for people that I know that have done it in the past, sometimes it kind of, it, it messes with your console because what happens is it's certain type of laws and restrictions that come when you change where you're going to be at. And most of us, like I know a lot of you guys right now are packing your bags to New Zealand uh, on your console, you know, theoretically to go ahead and get the game a day early. I would suggest that you don't do it and just wait the day because like I said, it, you know, it's good and bad. Some people have given me bad uh, feedback from it. Some people said nothing happens, but you know, when you get a little bit of bad feedback, you kind of look at it like, is it really worth it for me to do it for one day? You know what I'm saying, bro? We might as well just wait till midnight uh, with the launch, but that's ultimately what's going on with it all right you cannot there, there is no other way for you to you know get the game early like the week early and play for 10 hours that 10 hour thing is completely over so like i told you guys before what what needs to be done right now as you prepare for madden 23 ultimate team i've gone over this several times i'm still getting questions about it i'm going to reiterate it so that you guys understand a lot has changed with madden 23 ultimate team all right and it seems like it's going to be a lot more based on money. A lot of people that, when I first spoke about this in June, that did not want to do it, has otherwise changed and has completed the Rookie Premier Tokens because they're looking for any type of free content they can get to start the year in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. The removal of power-ups, with the exception of the Legends and certain uh, promos, they're doing a lot to kind of take away from a lot of the, uh, you know, the things that are on the server because there's so many power-ups. So I'm not really mad about that. I'm just waiting for them to release information about the strat card so we can know if we're gonna be able to add speed to our players, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so with this, 
the way that this is set up is very, very simple, right? When you go through it and you complete everything, you gotta get level 30, you gotta complete 15 rookie premiere sets, and you gotta do all the challenges to go ahead and get all the, uh, the tokens that are available. Now, once you go ahead and do that, most of us have already decided that we are going to exchange our tokens for auctionable players in Madden 23. So you can you can exchange the tokens that you get for auctionable players, which means you can sell it and get coins right off the rip, or you can turn it into Nats and NCATs and BNDs and all kind of weird stuff that EA is making up letters for and not really have any currency, but be caught up in the same situation. So these are what you need right now. Uh, instead of worrying about playing the game early, you want to make sure that when the game drops, you have everything and you're done with Madden 22. I can't wait to delete this game off my console. It is a nightmare and it's something that's caused me, like, I do, I don't even know what's going on with me uh, since I've been playing this game. It's really, really disgusting. But I need to let you guys know that this is extremely important and this is all that you need left. There's nothing else you need to do. Like, you can play if you want, you can do whatever, but this is something that I really urge every viewer that watches this video to complete all the things that you can do to get the 15 tokens that you need because we're gonna exchange it for auctionable players. I think I've decided, guys, I don't want any end cats intentionally. I wanna have players that I can sell and make currency because think about it, theoretically, we can go 150, 150, we could be at 450K at launch just because we got auctionable. Now remember, our full objective is to make as many coins as possible, but at the same time, put together a team that we can go out in head to head and start grinding for those, you know, the field pass stuff. So I, I'm not sure how you guys are looking at it. Cause some of you guys are like, yo, gee, what happens if I have five tokens? What happens if I only have, you know, 10? Well, you won't be able to, you know, utilize as much as we can, you know, as far as like, we've been grinding this for a while. This is not something that's new. I know that some of you guys are like, yo, gee, I just found your channel and I appreciate you guys watching, but you still have time because lucky you, you got until the 15th to actually complete this right let me go over here and check double check yeah 8 15 at 11 59 p.m so you guys have until august 15th which means that we'll probably get our rookie premieres starting with the regular launch date of august 19th remember you get to play the game early starting the 16th i don't know if they're going to just give it to us with the early release or they're going to let us wait but you do have until august 15th to do it so i would go ahead and get started with that simply because i believe that it's something that we should focus on you know what i'm saying so I've, I've explained to you guys how to get the game early we're going to all be playing it at the same time unless some of you guys leave and go to new zealand and then we'll meet you back when you come back uh to the states uh everybody knows how to do it early i you don't need to subscribe to ea play i'm not going to pay for it because i don't really need it right now um unless wait a minute unless this right i'm probably going to get the ea play for the year because you save 10 percent on packs so look when you go in here and then you start buying packs and stuff at launch, it is gonna cut it down when you go to buy it. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, you know, we probably still gonna get it because 10% for the entire year for $30 is just a no brainer if you're gonna be buying packs, all right? That's another pro tip right there. Let me know if you got that at the end, if you guys stayed for the entire video. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.